Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. It's really hard to describe because for 15 years I never thought I'd drive again. And then now to get to drive not only on the street but you know on a, on a racetrack that is so iconic as Goodwood. It's a bucket list item, it's a dream come true. The good thing is I hadn't driven in 15 years so driving this was almost starting from scratch and, uh, and became very intuitive very quickly. We modified a McLaren to be driven by a quadriplegic using only head controls. Uh, there's a camera system that tracks head movement, whichever way you turn your head steers the car, and a sip and puff system for gas and brake, so blow to go, sip to stop. Sam as a racing driver comes from a little bit of a different perspective and he wants a different level of performance, so it really pushed our engineering capabilities to match what he was able to do as a racing driver. It's definitely a, a labor of love, a lot of long nights in the lab and at the garage putting everything together and sometimes we forget why we're doing this and then once we get Sam in the car it's really nice to see okay this is what it's all about this is what it's for. I just won my first race in IndyCar just all kinds of positive stuff going on and you know, it's really the uh, photo of perfection here. We've got everything going, my beautiful wife. I've got a six month old and a two and a half year old. And then to have it all turned upside down, my wife and the kids, they were with me every morning, with me every night, encouraging me. And the entire motorsports community was extremely supportive. I'm doing four or five hours a day of rehabilitation. There's nurses coming and going. At some point it's like, you know, what, what are you gonna do with the rest of your life? I thought they were nuts, you know. They called me and said, do you want to drive again? And I'm like, yeah, how much is it going to cost? And they're like, no, uh, we, we've got the engineering, we've got the tools, we can make this happen. And then I said, well, we're all in. One of the things that was really surprising was just how incredibly normal it made me feel. Because for 22 years, I've really had to rely on other people to do most of my daily tasks. When I first drove the car, it's like, I'm actually controlling 100% of these functions. Uh, the gas and the brake and the head movements and and so there's nothing more in my life that makes me feel that normal and so that's that's pretty spectacular and then they said you know we're not going to patent this uh, anybody out there that wants to use this technology to help others we'll give them the technology which to me just showed an unbelievable willingness to help people with disabilities at a corporate level, which you don't see a lot. There's millions and millions of people living with this every day. So how can we make their lives better? We would love to see this technology take to the next level. We've done a lot of engineering to try and make it simpler and easier to implement into other vehicles so more people can get behind the wheel. We're always working on what's the next thing, how can we put that together to make the world a better place. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.